This is Professor Derf Seitz. This Java tutorial demonstrates console input and output. We have an example class called console input output with a main function. We import Java Util Scanner and we'll be using the scanner to get input and we'll be using system.out to print or display messages on the console. First, we instantiate a scanner object called scanner console, passing it system.in to tie it to the console. We then do a system out print line saying to type three words separated by spacing spaces and then to hit enter. Here are test cases that will run. They could type the words 1, 2, 3, separated by spaces, and hit enter. Or the words are any tokens separated by white space. The numbers 1 through 7, separated by spaces, and hit enter. Or the words 2 and few. It was requesting 3, and that would only be 2 words. We'll run those test cases after we look at the code. It's a print line notice, so it will display this message and then position for input on the next line. The next thing we do is we call the next line function of our scanner console to get an entire line of input, not just one token, because we've asked them to enter three words, and it's when they hit the enter that terminates the line and we want to get them all in a variable called line, a string here. Then we're going to instantiate another scanner. This object will be called scanner line and we're tying it to the string line. So you can have a scanner tied to the console and this scanner is tied to the string which has the entire line of input that they entered. Next, scanner line, we call its next function three times to get three tokens out of that line, uh, storing them in word one, word two, and word three variables. Then we use system out print line and say your three words are word one, word two, and word three, formatted uh, with commas to separate them. What if they entered more than three words, what would happen? Down here we say if more than three words were entered, we're going to display the extras. And there's an important note here. This would not work if we were using scanner console to get those three words from because for a console, the has next always returns true and next blocks waiting for input. So we would really, it would not work with the system, with the console scanner. That's why we use this line scanner. So we call in a if statement here, if scanner line has next, that looks ahead and sees if there's anything else in the line, another token. If so, we say you entered too many words, your extras are, and then we go into a while loop. If you don't understand ifs and whiles yet, that's fine. Focus on the the scanner logic and it's pretty intuitive to see what's going on here without the detailed understanding of these other constructs. Then we go into a while loop which will just keep looping as long as scanner line has next, as long as there is a token, we're going to get the token with the next, concatenate it to a couple of spaces and print it out and that will get all the rest of the words in that line and print them out. Down here in the last part of our example it says to get an integer and we're going to run these test cases a 3.14 1000 with a comma and negative 77. We print out just a print statement not a print line enter an integer there's the greater than space symbol that is like a prompt 
that uh, users have seen before in the command prompt, the system console. We have a while loop. It says while it's not true that scanner console has next int. Notice the difference here. This is not has next, not just any old token, but it looks ahead to see if the next thing, that, which is what they would have entered, is an integer or not. If it's not an integer, then we print out that this was not an integer, try again. And notice that we use a print statement there, not a print line. And then we discard that um, particular entry that was invalid that they entered. So it's discard the invalid entry just by calling next, not doing anything with it, just taking it. And so we'll loop through and keep looking ahead uh, because we've asked them again to try again here. That's the key point. If it wasn't an integer, we do the print so that we can again prompt them to try again. And if then we t take the one they that was invalid and get rid of it and go in loop and loop until they're going to have to enter an integer. And when they finally enter an integer, this while statement uh, is false. And then we come down here and print out what their the integer that they entered by actually doing the next int. So this is a, a way to validate input from the console looking for a particular type, and if it's not, uh, prompting them again and discarding the one that they entered until finally we look ahead and find it and get it. Finally, we do a, a print line, which just prints a blank line in our output to give us a separator for formatting before the console uh, says to enter any key to finish. The uh, Looking at the print statement categories here. We use print line to output an entire line and then go to the next line. We've used print which stay, outputs and stays right on the same line so that the user can enter uh, their input right at the point after this prompt. And we've also used a print line with no uh, parameters at all to put out a, a blank line. We're going to run this now. First, we'll, our first test case, one, two, three. Hit enter. Your three words are one, two, and three. Enter an integer. We'll first enter A, which is not an integer. It says try again. Our next test is 3.14 approximation of pi. It's not an integer. Our next test is 1000 with a comma and we'll see that it does take that. Press any key to continue. We'll press a key here and that ends that execution. We've run it again our next test case is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Hit enter. It says your three words are 1, 2, and 3. You enter too many words. Your extras are 4, 5, 6, and 7. And our other test case for the integer down is negative 77. That is an integer. So it takes that one okay. We're going to exit out of here and then run it again. We've coded this where you have to re-execute it for each run without putting in a, a loop. On this run we'll enter two few which is only two words and remember we were asking for three and we'll try to get three and we see when you do that we're going to get an exception. We called next on this line scanner and there was no next and there was an exception. If you haven't learned about exceptions uh, yet, which we'll learn about those later 
in a later tutorial how to avoid them and or to deal with them programmatically. Going back to the code now, we've seen how you can use scanner tied to the system console or scanner tied to a string to get input from the system console or from a string and how to get a particular kind of input like an integer from the system console and also the basic uses of print line again demonstrating console input and output